Coming up on Serial at Midnight, we have new arrivals from Umbrella Entertainment. Full details, all the specifications coming up right after this. Well, hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath and we are talking about this incredibly... It's a hot wave of releases from Umbrella Entertainment. Look at this. Uncut Showgirls. Possession. Possession on Blu-ray. I'm going to say this right here at the top of this video. Guys, pay attention. <laughs> We're serious. Serious. Every one of these releases, all but one, I think Turkey Shoot is labeled A, B, and C region. All the rest of these are labeled region B. But... I played them on my Region A locked player with no problems whatsoever. So take from that what you will. I'm not going to speak for your Blu-ray player, but my Region A locked player had no problem with any of these movies or with the special features. So that's what you need to know. I'm telling you right here at the top. Somebody's going to comment and they're going to be like, but are these Region locked? It says that they're Region B because they don't watch the video. Guys, if you see that comment, help me out. I'm not going to answer that question anymore. But I'm so excited about these releases. I'm going to have to be careful too because there's some stuff that I'm not going to be able to show you because it is of the adult persuasion. Let's start with Showgirls. Uh, we'll do like a quick overview and then we'll come back and do these more uh, in depth. This is Uncut Showgirls. This uh, does include the, this is the first release in their sensual cinema. I like, it's like the cherry. It's got like 70s it's like 42nd Street up in here. Um, this is the first installment of their Sensual Cinema line. Uh, this is this is number one on the side. It's uncut, and it does include the documentary You Don't Know Me. That uh, is kind of um, a, a reassessment and appreciation of how this movie has become a cult classic. And maybe there is more there than we first gave it credit for. Possession on Blu-ray. Uh, Isabel Ajani, uh, Sam Neill. I'm going to have to be careful with this because it's... Uh, Let's see if I'm covered here. Okay, this is ridiculous, right? This is this is like this is where we're at with YouTube and with Google and all this stuff. Uh, so possession is on Blu-ray. I think I can show you the back if you want to freeze frame that and check it out for yourself. I think that's safe. Again, some of this stuff I'm not going to be able to show you. This has reversible art. I can't even show you the disc. You know what? I can't show you any of this stuff. You know what? I'll do this. I'll do. The, I think, nope, hold on. Hold on. I can do that. Uh, this has, uh, we'll come back. We'll come back for the special features in just a second. Turkey Shoots. Uh, Brian Trenchard Smith's Turkey Shoots is, it has received the uh, Osploitation Classics Deluxe Treatment. This now joins, this is the seventh, this is the seventh release in the Osploitation Classics line. Here's, uh, I'm trying to make sure I've got these in the right order. Do we start at one? Yeah. So now we add number seven. Do you feel it lock in? The power. It's like Dragon Ball Z. Power level, 9,000. Uh, but it would be with, an, be with an Australian accent. Be power level 9,000, guys. I just leveled up, mate. I'm so sorry to all the Australians out there. Uh, so we'll talk more about that in a second. <laughs> this is amazing. Super Mario Brothers, the movie. This is like the super duper. This is super. It's the mushroom powered up version of this movie. It includes the alternate, the work print version with the deleted scenes kind of put back into it. We'll get to that in just a second. Double feature of some very hard to find movies. This is the All-Star Comedy Capers double feature volume one, which implies a volume two. Um, Warren Beatty, Jack Nicholson in uh, The Fortune, and then Harry and Walter go to New York, which has Michael Caine, Michael Caine uh, James Caan, Diane Keaton, Elliot Gould, some prime 70s, um, probably Coke-fueled. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like, I think Coke played a part in all of these movies. Um, I don't know anything. I'm not throwing accusations out. It's just a speculation. Uh, and then a Humphrey Bogart double feature, which is, this is, I'm so excited about this because hum, more Humphrey Bogart movies on Blu-ray that have been hard to find, right? So, all right, let's start. So got to turn, turn the possession art away so that it doesn't show on camera. And then I get that notification from Google. Uh, let's start with Showgirls. Again, I'm not going to be able to show you everything here, um, but it does. Have, here's the special features. You can freeze frame that. Again, we see that it says region B. 
but you know what I told you because you're paying attention, right? Uh, I think, yeah, I can show you, I can show you this. Um, and I think that's all that I can show you. Yeah. Maybe, you know. Um, but it's cool that uh, Showgirls is getting so much like legitimate reassessment and praise. So we got that documentary, the feature length documentary, uh, the greatest movie ever made. Showgirls, the greatest movie ever made audio commentary with Showgirls expert David Schmader. Uh, interview with Paul Ver Verhoeven. Um, I'd buy that for a dollar. I was the, I was like, do I go for the, the RoboCop uh, joke? I'm going to go for it. So I did. A Showgirl's Diary animated storyboard to film comparison of three scenes with sketches by the director. Uh, speech, by Paul, speech by Paul Verhoeven at the Razzies and the theatrical trailer. So, I mean, if you don't have Showgirls and you are looking for the best version, I think this is the only version I'm aware of that includes all of this in one place that has the You Don't Know Me documentary. What is that? 20, 2020? 2019? It's not that... It's not old. It's relatively new. Uh, what can I do with possession here? I um, can't show that. It's going to be challenging, man. Okay, so I'll do this. I'll hold this up. You can read the back of the box. You can see the special features for yourself. And then I got to look at it so I can talk to you about it. So audio commentary with the director, audio commentary with the co-writer, the other side of the wall, the making of possession, uh, U.S. cut of possession, repossessed featurette on the U.S. cut of possession, a divided city. That's a location featurette. The sounds of possession. Um, our friends in the West interview with producer uh, Basha poster. And now, okay. Yeah, I think that's as far as we can go with that one as far as uh, we, that's what's included. I know a lot of people, when this was announced by Umbrella, a lot of people were like, possession, possession, because it's one of those movies that's been very hard to find. And uh, a lot of us were wondering when this was announced, we're like, yeah, but, uh, you know, because that, that region B for a lot of people was prohibitive, but um, it's apparently not an issue. Not apparently, it's not an issue, so... Uh, I'm going to have to put that under Showgirls again. Okay, let's talk about Turkey Shoot. This is Brian Trenchard Smith's, uh, what is this, 1970, 1980. Uh, I knew it was right on the cusp there. This thing is loaded. And it is the limited edition version of this. First of all, I'll show you the, the front. I'll show you. I mean, look at all those special features. That's the thing I love about these. That's why I even, you know de-shelved these so that we could talk about these. This is what I love about these exploitation classics. Uh, they put so much attention into these bad boys with the extras. I mean, they're just like massive uh, repositories for what these movies are, what they include. There's the cool, very cool uh, multiple pieces of artwork there. Um, let's see. We've got a, how best to show you this? This has a reversible art wrap with a note or, you know, a message from Brian Trenchard Smith. Get my fingers out of the way. Hold that up for you. Um, and then, uh, as you see here, the, it, well, that kind of, I was going to save that as like the big reveal, but yeah, it has the soundtrack. So it has the original Turkey Shoot soundtrack. And then there's the film, well, it's upside down. And there is the movie on the Blu-ray. Uh, I I love this stuff. This gets me this gets me so excited, you guys. I realize also that I'm being more intense about Turkey Shoot than I am about Showgirls, but uh, it is what it is. I'm just excited about Turkey Shoot getting so much love because you know there's. You know, I'm not even going to go down that road. But we got the soundtrack CD limited to 3,000 units. So when 3,000 of these are sold, there will be no more soundtracks and future pressings. All new audio commentary by the uh, producer and the filmmaker, Mark Hartley, the guy behind the um, Not Quite Hollywood, the, the exploitation documentary. Uh, 2003 audio commentary with director Brian Treasure Smith, Blood and Thunder Memories, interview feature at Not Quite Hollywood extended interviews. So Not Quite Hollywood is the documentary about Australian movies, uh, exploitation movies, and it's got like hours of trailers on that Blu-ray. 
Um, and some, they've re-released it. We talked about it right here. It's fact it's, it's in the stack. They've re-released it with additional materials. So they're culling even more stuff from that documentary as it applies to Turkey Shoot. Um, a discussion with Brian Trenchard Smith. Uh, oh, the Ozploitation Renaissance. A discussion with Brian Trenchard Smith and, and more. Um, a Good Soldier, that's a 2002 interview with Brian Trenchard Smith. All New Escape 2000, 80 minutes. That's the version, 80-minute uh, version from a VHS source. So they've it's a VHS rip that's included here. Uh, All New Escape 2000. Um, by the way, this is never our last pass for most of these titles. Keep your eyes peeled to SerialAtMidnight.com. If you're subscribed to Serial at Midnight and if you've got that little bell notification ticked off, you'll know. I post when I put new reviews up. I've started to put post those uh, in uh, like text posts on YouTube so people can know. We're always talking about stuff. We talk about movies every single day. Even if we don't have a new video, we talk about movies. Uh, in reviews or something like that. So I uh, got the trailers from Hell Commentary, uh, a trailer reel for... So much stuff here. I realize I'm running long on Turkey Shoot. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, man, I saw this movie in theaters when it was new, and I it was not what I wanted. It was not the Super Mario Brothers. It's the quote from Dark Knight, right? It's like, it's not the Super Mario Brothers that I... It's not the Super Mario Brothers that I that I want, that I deserve, but it's the one that I need right now. I don't I've gotten confused in my quote now. And even like five of you have typed it in the comments already. Um, but coming back to it later with years on it and just enjoying it for what it is, there's a lot of cool stuff there. So you got Dennis Hopper, right? Uh, it's, he's gone now, right? So we only have so many Dennis Hopper performances. This ain't no video game featurette. Uh, that is like an hour long, like 60 minutes long. Making a featurette, original electronic press kit with cast interviews, behind the scenes footage, galleries, still storyboards, extended work print with deleted scenes and the U.S. theatrical trailer. Um, there's a second site Blu-ray for this that has the uh, the Saint No Video Game feature and some of the other stuff. I don't know of any other release for this movie that has the work print version. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Um, here's the inside. The interior it's got reversible artwork, but it's just like they've removed the uh, the ratings sticker it's not even a sticker it's printed onto it but they've removed it so you have clean artwork for the uh the reversible sleeve um these two uh wacky comedies so in the u.s this is exciting for me because in the u.s these only got released from twilight time at you know like 30 dollars a pop twilight time's out of business now i think those titles that you know they may still be in print because whoever picked up the catalog i think maybe they've kept them in print but they are um They've certainly never been on a double feature Blu-ray before, and uh, here's 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 another opportunity, right? Here they are back in print. That's that's what I'm trying to say. So there are no special features here. Uh, there, well, I say Harry and Walter go to New York has a trailer, so that's something. Um, but the cast for these, if you're of the the '70s auteur, you know this is like the new Hollywood of the '70s. And this is kind of at the end of it, too. So, uh, 1974 for The Fortune, or 1975. It says, well, see, it's copyright. It's copyright 1974, but then I guess it was released in 75. Anyway, uh, Warren Beatty, Jack Nicholson, uh, Stalker Channing from, she's in Greece, she's in this. This is directed by Mike Nichols, the, the, like, the great Mike Nichols. And then Walter, uh, Harry and Walter go to New York. That's a 1976 movie that's directed by uh, Mark Rydell. And that's got, as we say, James Caan, Elliot Gould, Michael Caine, Diane Keaton. I mean, that is an all-star cast right there of your 70s heavy hitter. I guess Al Pacino was busy on something else because um, you've got two Godfather alumni. That was Marlon Brando was in the middle of something too. Um, but no, it's interesting because this is uh, 74 or 75 and 76. And of course what we associate with being like the new Hollywood movement of the seventies, you know, started kind of with easy rider and cruised until the blockbusters killed it. And then jaws, star Wars, close encounters, the third kind, all the alien. It was over by the mid, mid to later seventies. So this is a very interesting snapshots at uh, like right before that happened, right before that all ended. The last one, I, I saved this for last because I get super excited about this. I love Humphrey Bogart. I have multiple, I had a Humphrey Bogart box set. 
But because of the nature of rights and things like that, certain movies slip through the cracks on home media. And I think, I think both of these movies are making a Blu-ray debut in this, uh, this two pack, this twofer. So we got Tokyo Joe, which is, uh, boy, I got a lot to say about this one. Uh, and then Knock on Any Door, that's Humphrey Bogart with John Derrick. It's introducing, so John Derrick's first role. Um, and I think one of these has a trailer. Yeah, uh, Knock on Any Door has a trailer included as well. So again, it says Region B, but we know better, don't we? The person that asked in the comments, didn't they, they, didn't, they didn't watch, so they don't know. But we do, we do. Uh, so anyway, I, I love, Bogey, Bogey's one of my favorites. Um, and uh, anytime I get a chance to talk about him, I get really excited. So keep your eyes peeled to SerialAtMidnight.com because I think you got a review of Tokyo Joe incoming sooner rather than later. Guys, that's going to do it for this Umbrella haul. A uh, lot of great stuff here. Which is your favorite? Which are you most excited about? I think a lot of you guys are going to be you're going to be talking about possession, but Super Mario Brothers, Turkey Shoot, uh, Showgirls. I mean, debut Blu-ray debut Humphrey Bogart. So much to get excited about. Uh, if you love movies and you love the history of movies, there's never been a better time. And as you can see, it doesn't just come from one distributor; it's coming from all over the world. There's stuff coming here from Umbrella that we've never gotten before, and it's only coming from Umbrella. So. It's time to dig in, time to celebrate, and time to enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, they all played perfectly fine on my Region A locked player. It's like John Lovitz. They all played perfectly fine on my Region A player. Acting! Guys, thank you so much. Take care. Until next time, I will catch you later.